What's up? Uh, I guess I'll give a little introduction before I get started here. What we're doing is we're annealing copper pennies, and then we're going to fold these into little cowboy hats. But this is just the first step, and we're going to do quite a few. So we're going to use this propane torch and just heat up these pennies. And that's going to soften them up and make them easier to make them the hats. So what I'm watching for is the flame to turn this kind of orange color, and that lets me know that the corn is hot enough to be quenched. And we're just going to run through quite a few of these. I know I need at least 15 for today. That's probably what we'll do, and then we'll make them into hats. How's it going, everybody? Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen, sending some likes my way. TikTok seems to like that. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, if you've never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I usually make coins into rings, but today we're making pennies into cowboy hats. And uh, if at any point during this live you want to get you some, you can just tap my logo up here, and then I have a shop on my TikTok profile, or you can just shop through the link on that profile. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just annealing uh, quite a few pennies, and then we'll start folding these into little cowboy hats. I gotta do this to about 15 pennies today. About 10 more to go. Sitting at 300 likes. That's pretty good. Thank you guys very much. To show us the hat. Yeah, I can show you a hat. Give me just a second. I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. So this is what they look like. Cute little painting cowboy hats. Let's see. We can pop that right there. Gonna have it in the background. And I do uh, quarters and half dollars too. So it's not just pennies, but I think the pennies are the cutest ones. They come out really cool. Well, if you haven't yet, uh, please consider giving me a follow. I sure would appreciate it. We've got quite a few people on the live right now. That's cool. We just got to kneel maybe eight more of these, and then we'll get to uh, making them, these into hats. So if you'll just hang with me for a little bit, we'll get to the cool stuff in here in just a second. Maybe a minute or two. Just enough time to check out my website, coinringmaker.com. If you want to hop over there and see a little bit more about me and all the cool stuff I make, you can come back here and we'll be making hats by then, I'm sure. Thank you for the follow. couple of them. Nice. Thank you. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask.
what's going on, man? Just annealing some pennies. Soften them up a bit. Say, if you guys like coin jewelry, like you like what I do, you should follow this guy right here. Let me see if I can get my finger in there. This guy right here, Thornhill Jewelry. He, he does some really, really amazing stuff. Very impressive. <laughs> I learned from the best. And then I made up the rest. <laughs> we'll do about <clears throat> well we'll kneel about two more and then we'll start making some hats uh, if you guys want to see me make some cowboy hats out of pennies put that little smiling cowboy emoji in the chat let's see some smiling cowboys down there who wants to see me make some cowboy pennies Oh, there's one. Cowboy, nice, there's two. Good afternoon. <laughs> They're just pennies, man, just copper pennies. Most people don't even like them. So you're lucky you didn't catch me a day working on silver. I got two silver eagles over here. <laughs> Just asking to be wrong. Alright, we're going to hop back over to my desk. Give me just a second to dry these off and we'll start making some cowboy hats. So we got some good people here in the live. It's good energy, I like it. No, no Carson City. I can't afford those. No, these are... I got a little town, which is in really nice shape. Like it's really clean for 2001. And then I got this one, which I don't know. I might hang on to it. Like the toning on this is is really cool. Look at it on the back too. Really dark black, kind of bluish purple ring. Yeah, those came in the mail yesterday. So I got one as a backup in case I mess up the first one. Oh, I think I'm going to actually start with this really nice clean one. And if I mess that up, I'll move on to the, uh, the other one. If I don't mess up, I get to keep the other one. That's a pretty good deal. I'm going to try not to mess up. All right, let me dry these cowboy hat panties off and we'll start folding stuff. Yeah, they go crazy for oxidation. But rainbow toning is actually pretty interesting. Like if you can get a full rainbow band, like that's that's pretty cool, man. Somebody tore my sticker off. Yeah, I had stickers across the front of this that gave just a little bit of space for my guide. And it's gone. Uh, gotta love kids. We'll see how well it lines up. Fix it if we need to. So this step is where we're going to add the little dome in the center of the hat. And uh, for you guys who missed it earlier, this is what I'm making the pennies into. So this is the uh, the coin ring maker penny cowboy hat. Now available at coinringmaker.com. Links on my profile. You can visit later. It's all good. But they're pretty cute. Fun with like Legos and make them into keychains too. I also do quarters and half dollars. 
but that's what we're working on. And this step, we're gonna put that little dome in the center of it. So we've got some 3D printed guides here to assist me. I think so. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me show you guys. Not not everything goes goes always perfect. So I told you I had a sticker on here to give me a little gap. You can see how that dome isn't centered anymore. So what we need to do is add a little spacer to bring that back. So I'm, I'm just gonna add some stickers on here real quick. Uh, please bear with me. How do you get one of those cowboy hats for a keychain? Um, there's just an option for it on my website store. Uh, you just go to the cowboy hat coin listing and then there's like a bunch of options you can pick from. And one of them is a, a keychain. So, let me see what I'm gonna use. To space this, we're gonna need some stickers on here. This is real life innovation right here, guys. This is the real true behind the scenes of how you get your stuff to work. We gotta make sure we don't get the sticker over the doming part we're trying to use. Just gonna add a couple millimeters of space for that guy. Go ahead and check it. Let's see how it looks. Not quite there yet. Precious metal. Yeah, yeah. Um, silver. I do American Eagles. So these are like. 99.99 .99 silver and then most of the coins I work on are 90% silver like uh, pre-1965 quarters and uh, half dollars Morgan dollars peace dollars those are all the 90% coins I work on I also do uh, copper clad but if you do order a copper clad ring, I do want you to know that there's a chance it could turn your finger green. Uh, that's just a property of copper. So if you're worried about that, I suggest getting a silver ring. Uh, but if you're not worried about that, go for it. Morgans and Eagles rings. Uh, let me show you uh, an example of one of my rings. I just showed you the cowboy hats. So this isn't the best example. All my other eagles have been shipped out to customers. This was the first one I ever made, so it's it's pretty rough, but my latest ones are actually much nicer than this. And I've been able to keep a lot more of that detail on there. But this is basically what they look like, the American Eagle. Still got all that detail on the inside. And then this is a, a Morgan dollar. Pretty cool. I really like that In God We Trust on this one. So I actually prefer, let me show you. And again, this isn't the best example. This is one of my demo rings that I was messing around with, but uh, to show you the back side of the Morgan on the outside of the ring, that's what this looks like. And this is really one of my favorite uh, coin ring designs. I think this is, just comes out super great for a ring. Uh, but you don't get the date on the outside, and that's kind of the hang up with it, is a lot of people want the date on the outside of the rings. Um, but as far as Morgans, I, I prefer them this way. But it, it looks good both ways. It's a cool ring. And just as an example, this is a, a, a peace dollar. See, it says peace on the inside there. 
I haven't sold a lot of these, but I think they look really great. I'm not sure why people don't get these. Uh, if you want to see my prices, you can tap this button up here that has my logo on it and then the link on my profile. And you can see all my prices there. They, they range uh, based on the size of the coin and what it's made of. This is another cool one uh, that I made recently. This is a uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar. And I think they just come out as great rings. Just the detail all the way across it. It's just, it makes a perfect ring. I think they're really, like, meant to be ring. These are really cool. But, again, I got distracted by shiny things. I got to finish fixing this sticker, and then we'll fold some uh, cowboy hats. So we'll... I think it should be okay. We'll give it a test run, see how well-centered it is. Get a penny here. Uh, have you done a W cowboy hat? No. I haven't made anything with a W quarter. I have offered to let people ship me theirs and work on it, uh, but no one's taken me up on it. So far, everybody wants to keep their W quarters. I'd say that's pretty well centered. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're just gonna mow through the rest of these. And uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, this is just kind of a over the shoulder uh, live, I guess, second person view. Day in the life of a coin ring maker. And if I finish all these cowboy hats, we'll probably make a coin ring. That's usually what I do. So if you want to catch that sometime, go ahead and give me a follow. And uh, you'll probably catch it on the next live if we don't get to it this time. Yeah, a lot of hats to make. They're pretty cute. And we'll just throw one back here. Nah, it's going to fall. We'll put it down here by the chat. There we go. Thanks for the follows, guys. I sure do appreciate it. Help my little TikTok account grow. Hey, I'm just a guy making coin jewelry. I've been on TikTok for about a year and a half. And uh, I've done fairly well on here. It's gone pretty good. Like, if you go check out my profile, there's a couple of videos on there with millions of views. It's pretty weird. Pretty wild. It is funny, though. Like, every time I get a super viral video, it's always for the cowboy hats. It's never for the rings. through the rings get when you make them size 13 that's um the reason i stop at a size 13 for quarters is they do actually start thinning out just past size 13 so they still look good at size 13 but anything further than that they really start to thin out um if you do have a size 13 i would recommend like a half dollar or a morgan over a quarter uh, just because it's going to look better Too small for the human head, surely. All right, Zoolander. That's funny. See, hey, they fit pretty good on uh, Legos. And uh, I like to put them on my little rock lobster. I think they fit pretty good on him. Boop. Pretty cute. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, would you mind asking her to leave a review on my Facebook page? I know that's kind of a weird ask, but 
if she really likes her ring, I would like other people to know about it. And I just found out that people can leave uh, reviews on Facebook. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, I sure would appreciate it. Thank you. Can I make one from an eagle? Absolutely. I actually have um, this eagle right here that I'm going to be making into a ring probably this week. Uh, I don't have an excellent example. Uh, this is the first one I ever made. And every other one I've made um, has has been sold. Um, but they, they are looking much nicer than this now. This was kind of a rough coin to start with because uh, I was practicing. But that's, that's pretty much what they look like. They're pretty cool. I can't do an eagle cowboy hat. The biggest I can do on them is half dollars. But I can do silver uh, half dollar cowboy hats. And those are available on my website as keychains. Um, I've sold two of those, and they loved them. I think they're they're pretty sweet. Um, no, they're circulated. Uh, Walking Liberty half dollars. Um, as far as people sending me coins. I used to let people do that, um, but then I messed up on one of them. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I messed up on someone's, like, sentimental jewelry, and it's just really tore me up. So since then, I only work on coins that I own. So if I mess up, I have a backup, and I haven't destroyed someone else's, like, you know, sen sentimental stuff. Um... So that's, that's just kind of the policy I'm going with right now. Oh, thank you. I'm glad he liked it. Uh, again, if you wouldn't mind asking him to leave a review on my Facebook page, I, I really would appreciate it. I just found out that that's something that people can do, and I, I really think it would help my little business out if, uh, if people did that. So right now, I'm, I'm doming the center of these pennies so they look kind of like ufos and that's like the second step in making these uh, little penny cowboy hats so after we get them all domed we'll fold the sides and make them into hats and uh, if anybody would like to get some you can tap this logo right here and the link on my profile and you can you can order from there uh, if you get six or, or i think it's four or more on my website store the, the price gets reduced on them. So if you want to get quite a few, you can save some money doing that. Okay, we just got like two more we got a dome. And then we'll start folding them. Aw. I'm, I'm really glad he liked it. That's awesome. Ooh. You don't want to lose that. Um, it's, I've, I've considered, um, different ways to make these hats. I've, I've done a, a bunch of different trial and error, and this is just the most efficient, uh, process with, with like the least amount of error. So like, as, as far as one step, it's, it's just really tricky to get, to get a nice uniform, and, and like symmetrical cowboy hat. I'm sorry, Art. Uh, let me see. Uh, Indian buffalo coins. I don't have Indi any Indian or buffalo coins, but I do have 1957 uh, quarters. 
and I could do that, it, it would be 90% silver, and I can do them in a size 5. Um, I think they're 85 or 100 uh, right now, depending upon where you shop. There we go. Commission pieces. Um, right now, I'm not really doing uh, too many commission pieces. Um, because, like I said, for, for most rings, I like to have a backup. And if it's a... If... If I mess up on on your coin, that's I'm going to feel bad, you're going to be upset. And it's not like I mess up a lot, but I just don't want there to be room for that error, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just there's not much I can do with with uh, nickels. So I don't have a lot of Indian head stuff. And the Indian head pennies are, like, pretty expensive. What's going on, Ben? So, yeah, I saw you drop in. And we're just making some cowboy hats here. And once I finish these, we're going to make a quarter coin ring. So that should be pretty cool. That's true. I mean, everything has value. But with coins, it's sometimes it's easy to miss. Yeah, these are your pennies, bro. <laughs> That's funny. They totally are. Thanks again for those. Dang, we got 700 people in here. Hey, if everybody liked uh, this video, like, tapped it twice, I, I would double the amount of likes I have on this video right now. I got 1,400 likes, 700 people. I wonder if y'all could do it. Those are awesome. Well, thank you very much. I think they're pretty cool. And the keychains come out looking really nice, too. I don't currently have an example of one on hand, because they've been selling really good, honestly. Uh, if anybody would like to get some, you can tap uh, this button up here with my logo on it. And my website's on my profile there. And I think you can actually shop on my TikTok profile now. So if anybody wants to test that out and let me know how it works, I'd appreciate it. There we go. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a coupon code too. You guys can save 10% using the coupon code WELCOME, and that works for everything on the shop. So it doesn't matter what you get, you'll save 10% shop-wide. It's my little thank you for watching me here on TikTok, watching me work. Hello. Does it uh, really matter what puck you set, you get, or if the quarter set will work for pennies? No, it does matter. Um, you, you need to get the right one for the specific coin. Actually, if you look at this one, I used my my quarter pusher. So this is my penny pusher. I used my quarter pusher on it and just damaged it really bad. This happened like two days ago. Uh, so I have a new one, but this was just on my desk. Uh, so that's what we're working with. But I should start using that new one. But yeah, you want to make sure you get the right one for the right coin. And these are made by Unminted uh, Coin Company. If you want to look him up on Google, make these yourself. What's the price on each one of these? Uh, they start at $10 on my website. I think they start at 8 on Etsy. But if you get uh, four or more on my website, they go down to $6 each. And then there's uh, more options if you want to get keychains or different types of coins. Uh, there's a whole bunch of options. Just go check out the website, take a look. I try to keep room for everybody to get what they want. Uh, that's actually what I just did. Uh, I went through the whole process of making these here on uh, TikTok. If you'd like to watch this video again, you can check it out on YouTube later. Uh, my YouTube is called Coin Ring Maker, and I repost all my lives on YouTube. So if you want to go back and watch it, you can.
Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're made by this guy named Jonathan. He's he's a coin ring maker as well. I really like them. They're great tools, so I don't mind I'm giving them a shout out. This is his logo right here. Well, shoot, I think we folded all of them. That's pretty good. Give you guys a look. There's our little cowboy hat so far. And um, I'm about to make a coin ring. So if you guys want to see that, type ring into the chat. And I'm just going to look up what kind of quarter they wanted. So we got quite a few rings in the chat. Thank you guys. Need just a second. I gotta hop on the computer to see uh, specifically what ring they got because I know it was something a little different than the usual. There we go. Come on, computer. Talk about business wisdom. Take a plane, make it worth the stuff. Right? These these are like um, physical NFTs. <laughs> right? I love it. That's a great analogy. Well, shoot, guys, I gotta hop off. Uh, hop off of here. This isn't working very well. Uh, it's code for non fungible token. It's it's a a cryptocurrency. It's basically a GIF or a PNG that's got a bit of crypto code attached to it. They're actually not very secure, but people are speculating wildly about them. Um, so people are making a lot of money. People are losing a lot of money. Uh, I haven't messed with them too much, but it's a funny joke because this is worth like a penny. And I, I have made it worth quite a bit more by turning it into art. So good joke, man. But... <laughs> I gotta hop off of here. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and follow me. Check out my website. Uh, check out my TikTok videos. There's a whole bunch of them. Go like them. Uh, share them with your friends. Leave nice comments. And uh, as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.